thank you for uh, this invitation for this nice meeting. Uh, this case, uh, today, this case is endovascular management of uh, splenic artery aneurysm. <coughs> uh, splenic artery aneurysm are the most common visceral aneurysm and the third common uh, abdominal aneurysm after aorta and iliac. Aneurysm usually secular, uh, maybe true or pseudoneurysm, uh, pseudo, but it's more commonly true aneurysm. The true prevalence of the splenic artery aneurysm is unknown, vary widely from 0.2% to 10%. Incidentally discovered splenic artery are being diagnosed more frequently with wide use of cross-sectional imaging. Splenic artery aneurysm are about four times more common in female, while the risk of rupture is three more time, uh, three more, uh, three time more in men. Associated disease is atherosclerosis, fibromuscular dysplasia, pregnancy, vasculitis, cirrhosis, and portal hypertension. <coughs> clinical, most of splenic artery aneurysms are silent, while the risk of rupture increases in liver transplantation and portal hypertension and pregnancy. The rupture of splenic artery aneurysm usually present with sudden onset of left upper quadrant abdominal pain, followed by hemodynamically instability and gastrointestinal bleeding and it's called double rupture phenomena. This initial bleeding in the lesser sac, followed by flooding of into the proteinal cavity. Uh, several imaging modalities for the splenic artery aneurysm, ultrasonic and duplex, CT angio, MRE, MRE, and DSA is the gold standard for imaging test. The overall risk of rupture is thought to be 6%. However, if and even of rupture, there is a relative, uh, relatively high mortality rate, 36%. Follow-up of, of aneurysm, less, uh, splenic aneurysm, less than two centimeter one year, uh, if have no risk factor. While if there is other comorbidity present, rapidly increase in size on more than two or equal two centimeter, or symptomatic uh, treatment should be considered. Our case is 54 year old male patient, known hypertension smoker, accidentally discovered by a general surgeon during routine investigation for cal uh, calcular cholecystitis by huge splenic artery aneurysm and referred to our unit. The patient was stable clinically, no sign of acute or internal abdomen bleeding. A CT angio revealed huge secular, <coughs> huge secular uh, splenic artery aneurysm. Splink and read. <coughs> Here's uh, this picture of the splink and uh, the splink and read. Treatment option endovascular or open surgery. <coughs> we prefer the endovascular, uh, endovascular uh, uh, treatment. Now we using diagnostic. DSA angio for diagnosis as uh, the aneurysm and cannulation of the splenic artery and the splenic aneurysm. Now we cannulate the splenic, uh, the splenic aneurysm with the trailblazer caster. Start to coil. Two coil was inserted in, inside the aneurysm. After coil, <coughs> we can let the distal part of the splenic artery to be sure you know, there is no occlusion or any, and then start to insert a stent graft cover
This, this picture shows the stent with the coil for the aneurysm. Patient discharged on the next day with antiplatelet. Two, three months later, CT uh, follow-up, CT angio follow-up done for the patient and showing is a stent here, appear. Here stent. Now the spleen, uh, this is a splenic vein, and the spleen, uh, the spleen are normal, no infarction, nothing. Okay. okay. Thank you, and we are waiting for AVC meeting. A. Thank you, Dr. Yasser, for the presentation. And our next speaker will be Ahmed Abu Nader. He will be talking about uh, surprising results of external iliac artery stenting with a surprising change in plan.